Baker. She's been on the show lots of times back when she was Miss Arkansas, but now in pharmacy school, and you're almost done. Almost. That's a good feeling. Yeah. Do you guys have to go ahead and start kind of working in pharmacies, though, and get used to that? We do. So this month, I'm actually on rotation at the Arkansas Pharmacist Association. Okay. So I'm learning how they are advancing the field of pharmacy, and that's why I'm here today talking about ways that your pharmacist can help you with New Year's resolutions. Yeah. So we're going to talk about getting more sleep, uh, quitting smoking, some other things. Let's start with that sleep one because that can really affect our health. Absolutely. It, it's very important to get anywhere from seven to nine hours of sleep each night. And your pharmacist can help you achieve that mm -hmm. um, depending on what problem you have. If you have difficulty falling asleep at night, then you might want to consider taking an antihistamine. Okay. So your options would be either a Benadryl or diphenhydramine. Um, and I have two products here, Unisom and z -Quil. Both of these are brand name products, but they actually contain Benadryl, generic Benadryl. So if you want to just pick up diphenhydramine instead, that may be cheaper. Okay. Doxylamine is another antihistamine that um, is often used for sleep quality. And both of those will help you fall asleep, but it's not intended to be used long term. You might build tolerance to it and you might need something else. I think a lot of people are like, oh, I'm scared to do that because I don't want to get to where I have to have it. Right. But short term, it's okay. Short term, and it works. It works fine short term, but over a period of time, you will lose the effect of that. Okay. You also need to be careful with antihistamines if you have glaucoma. Mm -hmm. We recommend that you talk to your doctor first. Now, that is if you have trouble going to sleep, you lay there, you know, for an hour. What if you keep waking up all night? That's right. So, particularly um, as you get older, sometimes people have a hard time sleeping throughout the night, and for them, we recommend melatonin. This is a product that is actually um, a natural substance, mm -hmm. and it helps you enhance the sleep cycles that you'll experience throughout the night. A sleep cycle is approximately 90 minutes, and it cycles from deep sleep to lighter sleep, and um, that will help you sleep through the night, not wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning. It'll also help with jet lag. Okay. And, of course, things like, you know, kind of calm down, get the, get the bedroom quiet, don't be watching TV in your bedroom. All those things are important, too. Absolutely. We call that sleep hygiene, mm -hmm. um, and I've actually found a few apps that may help you with sleep hygiene as well. Okay. Um, one of those is Sleep Cycle. That is an app that will help, will, will monitor your sleep cycles and then wake you up in your lightest sleep so that it's easier to wake up in the morning. Okay. Uh, the other app um, has to do with the blue light, and this app is called Flux, and it's a technology that limits the blue light of your devices. So if you look at your phone at night or your laptop, that blue light may be stimulating uh, and keeping you up an extra hour at night. So okay. the flux technology will limit that blue light. Very good. It changes to a different light that's maybe a little easier to, to go to sleep after you've yes. seen it. Yes. Okay, let's Let's go on to smoking because this is such sure. a big one for the new year, and it's so hard to kick that habit. It is hard, um, and that's why we want your pharmacist to help you out. We do consider ourselves to be the most accessible health care provider, so we want you to come in and see how we can help. There are a few over-the-counter products, um, so I'm going to start talking about this nicotine gum. Okay. Um, this is really good for people who have those oral cravings. If you constantly have to put something in your mouth, try this nicotine gum. Mm -hmm. The number one counseling point on this gum has to do with how you chew it. You don't chew it like normal gum. Instead, you put it in your mouth. You chew it until you feel a tingling sensation. Sometimes people say it tastes like pepper. Mm -hmm. And then you move it to the side of your mouth so that it, the nicotine can be absorbed by the side of your mouth as opposed to being ingested. Okay. Um, and that's how you get the greatest effect I've never from heard that. that. I've never had to use it, so, but that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of people may not be using it correctly. That's okay, right. Okay, what else do you have for that? So uh, the other product is a lozenge. That's more like a cough drop. I don't have that product with me today, but um, it has the same effect of satisfying that oral craving. You just might ingest more of it. You might have more of an upset stomach like indigestion or even hiccups. Okay, but different things work for different people, right? Right. And, and then the, uh, the patches. That's right. The third product would be the patches. Uh, these come in two different uh, hours or doses. So you can either pick up a 16-hour patch or a 24-hour patch. Okay. The 16-hour patch is meant for you to wear throughout the day and then take it off before you go to bed at night. Um, this is really good. Uh, this is what we recommend because if you have the 24-hour patch, then you might actually experience some kind of side effect while sleeping with this patch that may
may include enhanced dreaming. Okay, very good. Uh, about one minute left. I know you're sure. not a fan of e-cigarettes, so let's get that out there and That's, all. But yeah. you want to switch on to just kind of health maintenance. Sure, yes. Yeah. It's important just to keep up with your health. We've brought two uh, supplements that you can take, especially if you're a woman over the age of 50. We want you to think about calcium and then vitamin C as well. We also want to encourage you to stop by your pharmacy and think about the flu shots. Um, there's also pneumonia shots, meningitis shots. You don't have to make an appointment. We want you to come by and see us and ask us any questions that you may have about supplements, how you can stay healthy, because we do consider pharmacists to be the medication experts and we're willing to help. Not too late to get your flu shot for this season? You can still do that? Absolutely not. Okay. Flu shot, flu season will stay until May and wow. so you will be covered until May. Okay, very good. It is easy. Just go in and say, hey, I need to talk to you about such and such, and they are there sometimes when you can't get a chance to talk to your doctor. Thank you. Thank you. We can't wait four months, and she's a pharmacist. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she basically already is, but congratulations Thank on everything. You. And, and